Welcome to Mastering Mel for Maya, a free companion to my popular Python for Maya course, linked in the video description below. In part 7 of our video series, we'll be putting together what we've learned so far to make a script that will create a simple rig for objects that we have selected. We'll be creating a simple script where we can rig simple objects inside of Maya by parenting them under a controller. We'll also give it the option to lock the original object so that we can't move it individually. Let's walk through the script. First, I create a new file. You don't have to do this, I just like to when I'm coding. The command is file, and we give it the new and the force flag. The force flag makes it so that it doesn't prompt us when we're creating a new file. Next, we create a cube, and we store it in a string array call cube. This is because polycube gives us back the transform and the node that is used to create. We'll do the same with circle and store it in a circle string array. As you can see, we have pcube1 and nerb circle1. Next, we want to snap the circle to the cube's position in case they're in different positions. So we do this by using the parent constraint command and we give it the cubes transform, which is item zero in the cube array, and the circles transform, which is item zero in the circle array. We store this as a constraint string array. Then we delete this because we no longer need it. Finally, we parent the cubes transform under the circle. Then, we need to check if we want to lock the cube so that we can't move it individually. Let me run this code here so that you can see what happens right now. Right now, I can move the circle, but I can also move the cube independently off it. This might not be desired. Instead, we can choose to lock the cube. So right now, this variable lock node is set to zero, so this if statement won't run. Let's flip it to 1 and see what happens. If I now select the cube, you can see that all the translation values are locked. Let me undo and I'll show you what Maya is doing. If I select the cube and I select any of the channels in the channel box, I can right click and say lock selected. And you can see that Maya gives us the command back. It says set adder lock true pq1.tx. We have to do this for all the channels. Instead, let's just do set adder lock true. We can get the transform, which is the same as pq1 here, from the cube array and get the first item. And then we can do plus dot translate. Dot translate is an attribute that encapsulates translate x, y, and z. Similarly, rotate includes the three rotate attributes, and scale includes the three scale attributes. By running this code, it locks all of these attributes. Finally, we don't want to select the cube, but we want to select the circle. I now want to change the script, so instead of running on the cube, it runs for any objects that I have selected. So I'm going to now get the selection, so I'm going to say string selection and it's going to be an array is equal to in backticks ls dash sl which is short for selection and I'm going to say for obj in selection curly braces and I'm just going to copy all of this code inside of there I'm also going to remove this file new command up here let me first create some objects. If I was to now run my code after selecting a few of these, what would happen is that I would actually just get a bunch of cubes. This is because we're actually just creating a cube for each one of these objects, and that's not what I want. Let me undo. Instead of using cube here, let's get rid of this line. You want to say, String circle is equal circle because we still want to create that. But anytime we use cube zero, let's instead just use obj. 
This will make it refer to whichever item we're currently iterating through in the for loop. And let's also indent this so that it's easy to see that it's within the for loop. Now let's select a handful of objects and run our code. You can see that it's created a circle and snapped it to the point where any of these objects are. So if I move the circle, it moves, but I can't move this torus. This is because we set lock node is equal to one. We can change this to zero and run it for both of these. Now, they both have a circle, but we can still independently move them. In the next video, we'll go over how to convert this into a function that we can reuse. If you're interested in learning more about programming inside of Maya, check out my popular Python for Maya course, which is linked in the video description below.